What's going on, everybody? Not only are we the Dragonborn, the Dovahkiin, the savior of all Tamriel and Nern or whatever, and Master Thief and Assassin and Harbinger of the Companions and eventually Archmage over the Mages Guild that nobody really cares about in Skyrim, but uh, now we're to be a Moth Priest or something because we need to go get this Elder Scroll translated and apparently we're going to be able to do that if we can go find this sanctuary place and uh, under the directions from... Our friendly moth priest who has gotten himself blind by reading an Elder Scroll without properly preparing first. Uh, we go here and follow his instructions and supposedly we can figure out how to do it for ourselves. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go Why? What are you going to do? Cry? I don't have to take that from you. Now I was kind of hoping you didn't because I need some orc blood and, uh, well, nice of you to volunteer and all that. Poor orc just strolling down the street. I just had to stop and pick on him. <laughs> like that he goes, why? You gonna cry? <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Huh? Nanny nanny boo boo. Alright. Let me have that. Okay, we still need uh, all the rest of the elves. But that's cool. Got the orc out of the way. I don't think the orc would have been a problem though. I think you can find an orc in just about any bandit camp. Anywhere. I'm no fan of the sun. At some point in our journeys here that we're going to come across Falmer, though. And, uh, that'll be nice. And then High Elf will be easy. Uh, honestly, I'm I, I'm still thinking the Dark Elf is going to be the hardest one to find. Or maybe Wood Elf. Although, among the bandits, probably a good percentage of your archers, the ones running around with a bow, are going to be uh, Wood Elves. At least that's what we're hoping. I'll go, I'll go attack some bandit camps that I know about. Probably just make a little side trip and just go do a few of those. Try to get him out of the way. Then we'll go return that to Hermius Mora and get our Augma Infinium. Now, initially, I was... Uh, what, what I normally do, actually, I was going to use it for magic. Because other than enchanting, um, all my magic skills are up to 100. Well, uh, I was thinking in this case, since I'm having such a hard time getting my light armor to 100, I'm right around 90. I don't remember exactly how many points per skill you get with the, with the book. Uh, it's either 5 or 10. I know in Oblivion it was 10. It was 10 points towards, um, like, skills and attributes and stuff. Um, in this, in this I'm thinking it's 5. 5 for certain related skills, like, you know, all the magic skills and then all the thiefy type skills. And I'm thinking, uh, I guess thief skills would be the one. And you know what? Um, I don't think I have any of those skills to 100. My archery is still pretty relatively low. Um, trying to think what else is, what else is, let's see, sneak would be the obvious one. I think light armor is actually a, a thief skill, All right, So I'll, I'll probably be picking that. Probably be wise to do a save first to make sure that I pick the right book for what I want. I believe that's how it goes. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Whatever it is, I, I want to take whatever gives me points towards light armor. Just because. Anyway, so, so here's this cave. Supposedly, there is a ancestor moth, like shrine, very impressive, is it? or sanctuary it type place here. Oh, I hear you, Serana. I'm being a tough guy. Gonna go pick on a blind man. Okay, I'm impressed. Anyway, for right now, we're kind of making a beeline through this uh, through this story here. Once again, just more content for this uh, Dawnguard DLC. It's freaking huge, man. All right, let's see if Serana changes her tune now. So we come out into the clearing. Look at this. I actually love this place. Wow. Look at this place. No one's been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. It's beautiful. Nice. A little more impressive, huh? She doesn't sound like, uh, I guess, your typical vampire. Really well-developed character. Serana, just all the way around. Alright, so we need one of these knife thingies. Well, we got the knife. Now all we need to do is track down one of those canticle trees. Which we happen to have just sitting right here, conveniently, of course. Alright, so we grab some bark, and this is supposed to attract these little moth dudes. And then, uh, 
Hope the moths like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. And apparently it's it's them which them. which definitely taken a liking to you. Yeah, you like that? Got new little buddies. Right? Get my glimmer thing on. We'll go around and collect some of these little guys. Make some new friends. And then uh apparently they give us the ability to interpret or read the Elder Scroll. I guess it's like them reading it for us, kind of, and then passing it along, or in some way we understand, or something. I'm not going to lie, the very first time I ever came through here, uh, I ran around trying to uh, scrape all the trees if I could. Didn't exactly know what I was supposed to be doing. Not like it's rocket science, but hey, there you go. This is really cool. Obviously, it's reminiscent of the uh, the Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Kind of similar. Another place I like is where you go for Hercene's quest. To go get the savior hides and stuff. The place the werewolf dude runs away to. Probably won't get around to that. I uh, have no need to go get the Savior's Hide for anything. If we did, it would just be for giggles, but uh, you go to somewhat of a sanctuary type place. It's pretty cool, like a hunting grounds or whatever. But uh, it's an area with, uh, you know, you see the moon shining through and stuff. Really good place for screenshots, actually. This is pretty cool. The moths are like resonating with our being and everything, man. <laughs> Whoa. I think that might have been what we were waiting for. That's right. Let's head back up there and see if we can read the scrolls. I've certainly got my groove on now. Like this. My aura. My Elder Scroll reading aura going on here. That's right. Ambient music is awesome, too. It brings, brings kind of a peace to the place. If I was living in Elder Scrolls world and Elder Scrolls time, I might consider being a moth priest myself. Get the cool music and little moth dudes floating around and being all cool and everything. Apparently we can only take it a little bit at a time. Alright, so I guess we have a map here. That's kind of what it looked like. Are you okay? I almost thought I lost you there. You weren't as white as the snow. All oh, the colors, man. The pretty colors. Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. I could see it in your eyes. You looked about a thousand leagues away. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Then it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall Cave? Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Not much. If you read any history, it shows up from time to time, but it's a hard thing to track. As far as I know, though, it's never been held by a vampire. That would be a new one. Ariel is one of the elven gods. He's with the rest of them in Aetherius. The way I've heard it, the sun represents the connection from our world to theirs. Supposedly, the bow draws its energy from the sun itself, which is why it shows up in that prophecy. Uh-oh. In that part, I don't know. Oh, well, awesome. 
Yeah, right? Nothing like trying to talk to your undead girlfriend and having a gargoyle come up and slap the shit out of you. Okay, well, can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation? You, this couldn't wait just for a minute. All right. I've got something for you. Ouch. Well, I can certainly take a lot more damage than I could before. I like to switch my armors, too. It makes me want to go get my uh, light armor skill up sooner than later. Yeah, I have my uh, my gear that I made. If you remember a few videos back when we actually made the whole set, I'm just I just kind of have my main armor piece off to the side because it has a light armor enchantment on it, and I don't want to put that on yet. I don't want to put my light armor skill unnaturally over the 100 point mark because I'm afraid it won't go up anymore after that. And it's taking so long just to get one stupid point in light armor that I mean I don't know. I guess I could play for a couple hours and just keep getting hit until I eventually find out whether it's going up or not, but. It just sounds annoying. Not gonna worry about it too much, but uh, if I do get a chance to get some free light armor points, I'm certainly gonna do that. All right, anybody else? Something tells me that if we make a different decision with Harkon, then it would be Dawnguard uh, hunters here instead of vampires. That would be my guess. Do you need something? Not much. As far as I know, though, it's never been held. Ariel is one. The way I've heard, supposedly the bow draws its energy. In that part, I don't know. Once we have it, hopefully it'll be obvious. All right, I just wanted to let her finish what she had to say before we were so rudely interrupted by the gargoyles. Just in case there was anything important. All right, so Ariel is a chief deity or whatever amongst the ancient elves or something. So Ariel's bow, I guess, would be like a divine weapon and... Uh, Harkon wants to do something with it. Use it somehow to end the tyranny of the sun. Essentially to blot out the day or something, right? Alright, so anyway, we're supposed to go to Darkfall Cave. And, uh, you know, looks like apparently I've already been by here. I don't remember us going in there for any reason. It's a... Yeah, I, I, I have no idea even when we were here, what we were doing. But apparently we've already been over in this area. I remember when these things used to be a terror. You did not want to see a saber cat. Like, ever. <laughs> They'd one swat you. Come up and just tap you with their paw. Uh, instant death. Tell you what, you know what? Um, I, I've been thinking about this, and before I forget, let's just head over here real quick. If you remember, there's a standing stone, which we uncovered. Oh, we were doing something else related to this. Um, I think we were looking for Serana's cave, where we initially found Serana. Anyway, I think it was the Lord Stone. In fact, there it is. Okay, I, I believe this is it. And it gives you uh, extra 
magical and physical defense. And I'm like, you know, initially the, the stone that I like to ride with is essentially, um, well, first one of the ones you get at the very beginning of the game where it raises particular skills faster. And then there's the one um, over there by Markarth, which I usually stop by. I think we pass by it on the way to go find the Sybil of Dabella, right? Um, and that one, I forget which what, what the stone's called, but that one raises all of your skills just a little bit less. Instead of 20% to a particular kind of skill, like thief skills, warrior skills, or whatever, it raises like all your skills 15%. And I mean, like, what kind of deal is that, right? So um, I've been running with that ever since. But uh, I have a lot of my skills to where I need them. I'm not going to worry so much about that. But a uh, little extra defense all the way around actually sounds good to me. Now, if they had standing stones like they did in Elder Scrolls Online, which just straight up gave you a, um, an extra critical damage, extra critical chance, you know, stuff like that, or just maybe just weapon damage, period, or something, um, I, would, I, I would run with that. I'm a DPS based character, but, um, yeah, tired of hearing you moaning. Anyway, I want your stuff. I wonder if you get credit for pickpocketing a, a summons. I wonder if you even can pickpocket a summons. Oh. Anyway, alright, let's get back to Darkfall, and then, uh, we'll, we'll pick up from there. And then we'll start, uh, heading towards getting Ariel's bow. I think we have a long journey ahead of us. This is, a uh, this is a bit of an adventure. Massive cave system, then a, a f forgotten or forbidden veil or someplace like that. Anyway, and then uh, finally get to this temple. Anyway, we've got a long ways to go. All right. So uh, appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll pick up from here on the next one. If you want to subscribe, click that button up top. If you want to catch the rest of this Let's Play up to this point, click that image there in the middle. It should send you to the playlist. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.